The decision for Terry Poole to be gone from the team was probably made a long time ago. Uh, but, you know, it's now it's now out there and it's now official that she is no longer with the team. Uh, last week when Angel Reese made her return back to uh, play for um, the, L- the LSU Tigers, uh, Kim Oki, I believe she's asked about Kateri, um, and she said Kateri is not, is not currently with the team. Uh, but we didn't know that that meant that Kateri was, like, officially gone from the program. But now it seems like we know officially that Kateri Poole is, is gone. Um, so we're going to get into that. Um, I do, I'm trying to find the, the period in the, um, in the press conference where she actually, where, um, it was actually talked about, uh, because LSU actually played today and supposedly the announcement of, um, Kateri Poole being away from the team, uh, that was, that was made, that was made today. So, so we are going to see. If I'm trying to see if I, I'm trying to scan the um, trying to scan the post game interview and see if I can find it. But yeah, this is a uh, pretty pretty breaking news today. Um, yeah, so I, I do want to know what you all think about uh, about this news. Uh, in terms of my opinion about this, I think this is a big deal for. Um, Kateri Pool. Uh, so yeah. Um, Jewel says, Hey Q, I told you she was no longer on the roster. Um uh, why is why is why is the question? Yeah, why a hundred percent is the question. That that really is the question for this team. Um, yeah, we're back. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all for rocking with me though. <laughs> we back. Um, political Lil says, Well, it's the end of the semester, so they probably let her finish the end of the semester. I think she wanted and felt um, deserved to be the point guard. You think you think she wanted to be the point guard? Is you think this is uh, what this is all about? Um, I I find this very pu- puzzling. Uh, be- one because I, I don't actually know what what happened um, to to cause Kateri Pool to, to not no longer be on this team, but. This for sure is a big deal because if you all remember from um, last year in the in the uh, tournament, Kateri Pool, Kateri Pool is not a player who scores a ton of points, but Kateri Pool is an amazing, amazing role player, um, and that's a big deal. That is a big deal. Um, so you know, it's a uh, it's, it's it's for sure it's for sure a bummer. Um, for LSU because now they don't have Kateri Poole to rely on when they really need her at at a critical point in the game. You know, someone who can just come in, don't do anything stupid, and make smart plays. They don't they don't have that. You know, uh, so Kateri Poole is a five foot eight junior, um, and you know there was a couple games this season where Kateri Poole didn't play. And that was a coach's decision. Um, and now she is she is no longer with the team, which is kind of crazy. So Kim Mulkey said, um, Kateri Poole is no longer with us. That was her official quote. Um, she said that during today's press conference. Um, so the LSU Tigers defeated um, Louisiana today. They killed Louisiana. Um, they beat them 83 to 53. And at that press conference, um, you know, this this was announced. The fact that Kateri Poole is no longer with the team. Um, Kim Mulkey wouldn't, of course, elaborate on that in terms of, like, what that actually means. Uh, but, you know, this is a big deal. Uh, Kateri Poole, if you don't know, she actually started her career at Ohio State. Um, and so she, she transferred to LSU. And... You know, she she's done well for LSU so far. You know, she she averaged um, last year. She averaged um, four point five points a game. Uh, you know, uh, she had she averaged about twenty two minutes a game. Uh, she wasn't a player who scored a lot of points, but she played her role really well. She she played defense. Um, she she moved the ball around and she didn't do anything stupid. And that's exactly what LSU needed. They needed someone who could come in, bring some good minutes, and not be a liability. And that's what she did. 
Um, and, and so while she didn't score a ton of points, she was extremely valuable to this team, regardless of what the, the actual stats say about, about her play. So like, this is, this is a big deal because you no longer have Kateri Poole. Also remember Samaya Smith is hurt. She's out for the rest of the year. Um, she had a, a knee injury. And so now they're down two players. So that it's right now, it may not be a big deal for LSU, but when it comes down to, when it comes down to um, the you know conference play and tournament play, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. So let's let's get into what y'all what some of y'all got to say. Um, Zay too legit says I'm new to women's basketball and didn't see it coming. I knew something was off though. Yeah, something was definitely off because uh, while uh, Angel Reese was out, Kateri Pool was at was was there at some of the games and uh, she was just sitting on the bench. The whole time she was just she, she would just ride at the bench and I was like okay well something's going on because Kateri Poole isn't playing. Um, Shree says I can't believe that Moki would actually come out and say it when um, when she said that she likes to keep team issues and things um, of that nature private. Well, I, I think I think she had to say that Kateri Poole is no longer with the team because. Um, Kateri Poole is no longer with the team. I feel like that's something that she had to say. Like, I don't think we'll, we'll hear anything else. I think that's the the maximum of what we we will hear from um, Kim Mulkey, the fact that Kateri Poole is no longer with the team. That is all I think we'll hear. Um, there, of course, is backstory, and, and there there's, of course, a reason why um, Kateri Poole is not coming back, and that's something that um, I'm sure we'll see a lot of speculation online. I'm sure uh, a lot of people will be saying a lot of stuff, but overall, we don't know. We do not know why Kateri Poole is out. Um, and again, this this is a gigantic, gigantic loss for this team. And I know that people will not people won't recognize this as a, as a, as a loss for the team. I know that. Uh, but when we get to the NCAA tournament. And when when we start seeing players mess up, then you're gonna notice how big of an impact Kateri Poole really was for this team because she really was misconsistent for this team. Like she was very consistent, did everything she needed to do, um, and this is a huge loss, absolutely huge loss. Uh, Political Lil says, uh, "Well, she was told to get her mid range together over the summer, and she did. So I'm sure she was expecting to play, given." She started the championship run. Uh, do you think it was due to playing time? Um, Carol says, yeah, uh, this is a big loss for LSU. Huge loss. Huge loss for LSU. Even if even if this team does not recognize this as a huge loss, this is a huge loss uh, for this team. Um, uh, does missing a year of college ruin opportunities to join the WNBA? I mean, kind of. Technically, no. But, but in reality, yeah, it, it kind of does. Um, Carol said they had a fight for that when it was scary. Yeah. Um, so, so she was dis supposedly she, she was dismissed from the team. Uh, so I guess, I guess you can use the word fired, I guess. Um, she is able to transfer, uh, but she cannot play this year. So if she transfers to another team, she can, if she transfers to another school, she cannot play this year. She'd have to wait until, until next year to actually play. Um, PK uh, 2001 says she needs to go to Tennessee. Why? Why? Why should? Why did she need to go to Tennessee? <laughs> um, yeah, she did play a huge role in 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 the uh, championship game. She did. Um, and for those who have like actually watched LSU play, you know how valuable Kateri Pool is. You know how valuable she is, and you can't you can't really tell her value in the stats. Like you just can't. If you just look at the stats, it doesn't look that impressive. Um, in terms of um, her scoring and whatnot, but like, this is a big deal. This is a huge deal that um, that this team will will remember. This team will will remember this as a thing when it com when push comes to shove, and this team is sort of a uh, um, struggling, I should say. Uh, that that's when that's when people would be like, man, Kateri Pool, you know was able to make stuff happen and yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, that's the, that's the big news guys. Uh, Kateri pool is, is now out of, out of here. Um, I personally would love to figure out what's going on, like what actually happened. 
um, and what the issue was. But, uh, but yeah, we, we don't know. We do not know uh, what the issue is. Uh, Kateri Poole is no longer with LSU's women's basketball program and will not return this year. So that that's the news, guys. That is that is the news. So let's let's keep talking about it. Um, Michaela says, "I think that Poole was hurt. Uh, that she wasn't a respectable uh, amount of. She didn't have a respectable amount of playing time after helping them win a championship. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing about." Um, LSU is that Kim Mokey does whatever she wants to do. Like Kim Mokey, it's it's a coach's decision. And and if Kim Mokey doesn't, even if you help this team make it to where they made it to last year, uh, if Kim Mokey doesn't want to play you, or if she if she doesn't want to play you at that particular moment, she's not going to play you. Um, and maybe that's something that um Katrina Poole have to deal with. But yeah, that's it's unfortunate. But you know it is what it is. Uh, Shree said, uh, yeah, uh, that didn't go well. I guess uh, I expected LSU to demolish them for real. Yeah. Um, Political Lil says, transferred to LSU and brought Reese with her. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's the only reason Reese uh, came for a visit to LSU. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kateri Poole was a huge glue for this team. Absolutely was a huge glue for this team. So it's it's a bummer that she's that she's not gone. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see. Uh, Pretty Ugly says uh, she was the reason why Angel came to LSU. Unless they had issues with each other, how will this affect Angel and even Angelica Velez, who pull help recruit uh, to both being from the Bronx? I actually, I thank you for sharing that, Pretty Ugly. I didn't I didn't realize that um that Kateri had a hand in recruiting um Velez. So yeah, this is uh this is a thing. And you know, one of the things about LSU is that they keep their locker room pretty tight knit. Like we don't quite know what's what's happening. Um there there may be may have been drama and stuff happening on the back end, um but you know, us as fans, we'll actually never know what happened. We'll never know exactly why Kateri Poole was dismissed from the team because she's a big part of this team and now and now she's gone. Now Kateri Poole is officially gone from the program. Um, you know, it's a coach's decision, I'm sure, but this is this is a big deal. And I think this will affect this team coming in the future. Um, John says, I wonder if this is somehow tied to Angel Reese's absence. It might be. It very well might be. Uh, I, I can tell you this. We won't we won't find out. <laughs> like I, I can tell you this. We we will not find out. Um, I'm sure it's connected, but they they keep a they keep a tight lip on what happens at a uh, at LSU. They keep a they keep a real tight lip on stuff. Um, so we we won't know. We we will not know, which is a uh, kind of. I mean, from a from a fan's perspective, is you know we want to know we want to know what's going on. Uh, and it's a. It's a bummer. It is a hundred percent a bummer um, that we will not find out what happened. But you know, it is it is what it is. You know, it it is what it is. Coach Kim Moki does whatever she wants. <laughs> um, that that that's that's what it is. That is what it is. Um, I will say this, like. There's other players that will need to step up in um in Kateri's pool's absence in the 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 tournament. Uh Drew said, Oh, thank you so much, Drew. Appreciate you. Appreciate the support. Um G Gerard says, I think Angel and, and uh Kateri Pool went through the same issue and Angel made it in. Yeah. Yeah. It it might have been it might have been one of those things where it was either Angel or Kateri. We we don't know. But uh it seems like uh, Angel was chosen and Kateri Poole wasn't. Um, who that dude in me? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this has been making for weeks. Yeah, she's in her feelings about freshmen playing more than her. You you really think that's about? That's what it's about? Um, if so, that's a that's a bummer. Like I, I get why she would feel that way because uh, she really was a critical piece to this team. And then you have freshmen who come in and haven't proven anything that, have, that are playing a, a heavy amount of minutes. Like I, I get it. I, I, I understand why someone will be in their feelings about that, but 
now Kateri pulls out. And now, you know, Kateri's not playing for any team this year. She's not playing for any any other team this year. Um, yeah, completely agree. She was not an MVP, but she was extremely valuable for this team. Extremely valuable in a way that the stats will never show. The, the stats will never show how good of a player Kateri Poole actually was. Um, but yeah. Um, ooh, Sharice says the, the cracks are starting to show. Is it? Yeah, we'll see, you know. Um, facts, David. Um, says uh, KP was a defensive nightmare in the final four. She will be missed. Yeah, yeah, she will be. Yep, yep. <laughs> finishers, finishers says KP about to spill all the tea, the Kool Aid, and the Hennessy. <laughs> I hope so. I want to know what happened. I want to know. I, I want. I want to know what happened. Um, because that's a surprising um thing to happen. And yeah. Yeah, it seems like all is not well in the locker room. That that's what it seems like. But you know, they I, they're they're putting on a brave face. They putting they're putting on a brave face. Uh, Robert says Tennessee needs all the help they can get. Yeah, they do. But Kateri Poole cannot go to another team this this year. She cannot go to another team this year. I mean, she can technically, but she cannot play for another team this season. She can't. Um, she has to wait until next year um, to play for a team. So, you know that that's a. That's a big deal. So we will we will see what happens. Um yeah, it's it's a it's a big bummer and it's a huge loss. Um, but yeah, it this this it seems like the like uh, LSU is all about it's about Michaela Williams. It's it's about Michaela Williams. Um it's and it's about uh last uh, t uh Michaela Williams, last year POA. Um, you know. Haley Van Liff, these players are going to have to like step up, not just not not you know just playing offensively, but they need to step their game up defensively and kind of be what Kateri Poole kind of was for this team. Uh, but yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, if if she goes to to Tennessee, she'll really she'll really help them in the future. Um, but of course, she can't go anywhere right now. Um, completely agree, Lonnie. She was a stabilizing force. Yes. 100% she was a stabilizing force. Yes. Um, yeah, Carol says, Poole was huge for them. She brought experience to the team. Kim has been saying it without actually saying Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the trio of Anissa, Flage, and Michaela are good. Yeah. Yep. Um, Shri says, I think Moki is going to lean hard on Williams now, but I think, uh, yeah. Oh, M Michaela Williams up for the challenge. She's up for the challenge. A uh, hundred percent. She's up for the, for the challenge. Um, yeah, we will, we will see what happens. We will really see. Um, oh, thank you so much, David. David with the super sticker. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, David. Uh, thanks for the super sticker. Um, but yeah, uh, Cedric says, Hey, greetings, LSU and media in the media. Uh, nothing but drama. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of drama going on. It is, it is a lot of drama going on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Political Lil says, uh, remember pool was dressing for games when Reese was out. She was, she was dressing for games and she was just sitting on the bench. And, you know, at times I, when I, when I caught her on like on the camera, she was like cheering for her team and stuff like that. But like, it was, it was always a question of, okay, well, why is Katiri dressed there at the game and yet not playing? You know, there was a stretch of a couple games before, before they went to the Cayman Islands where Katiri pool was there. Angel Reese wasn't. Katiri was dressed and just, just rode the bench. Just rolled the bench um, while these other players played, you know, and that was kind of troubling, uh, especially for a player of Kateri Poole's stature. You know, Kateri Poole isn't a scrub. She's good. She's a good player. Um, and for her not to be playing um, on this team when she's healthy is weird, very weird. Uh, Sheree says, we're going to see how LSU does in the SEC this year after all the controversy surrounding Poole's absence and Reese's, yeah. 
And uh, y'all, um, we are about to start. We are about to start conference play. So Iowa started conference play today. So the Big Ten has started. Um, the SEC is about to start conference play, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see what what some of these freshmen are all about. You know, LSU has the number one freshman class, and they lost two of their players. You know, Kateri Poole, upperclassman, and they lost. Um, uh, you know, they lost uh, Samaya. Like, or yeah. So huge deal, huge huge deal for this team. Um, and so we'll see. We'll see what they're what they're all about. Um, Carol says, Kateri just posted that she's in New York city. I wonder if she left the school as a whole. I wonder. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I wonder, I wonder if she did leave the team as a whole. Um, I, you know, I, I do hope that, that she does, um, get her degree, um, uh, wherever she goes to school. I hope, hope that she gets her degree. Um, uh, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Um, let's see. Let's see what else I got to say. Uh, they already said during games that it isn't related to the Andrew Reese situation. Uh, who, who said that, Alex? Who said that? Let us let us know in the chat. Um, uh, Gerard, G Gerald says, I think things uh, we didn't see is the new players in practice with Cape. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like it's more than that. Uh, and Moki knows how to pull minutes for players. Yeah, it's something. It, there, there is, there's definitely something going on with LSU. We likely will never find out what's going on, but something, something is in the water. Something is in the water in LSU, um, in, in the in the swampy swampy lands of Louisiana. Something is in the water, um, and we won't find out what happened. But we do know this: Kateri Pool is out. It's a big loss for the team. Um, she, she helped bring Angel Reese in, um, supposedly she helped bring Velez in as well. Um, she's a player who, uh, the stats do not show her value and she's a player that for sure will be missed from them from this team. And we don't know why we do not know exactly what happened. Um, but we do know, uh, that Kateri Poole was dismissed. Um, so, you know, that's a, that's a huge bummer. That is a huge bummer for this team, um, but we we will see. We will see what uh what continues to happen. But yeah, uh, let me let me know let me know in the comments. Do y'all think that this hurts Kateri's uh, ability to um, make it or make make it to another team? Do you think this hurts hurts the the ability to, to transfer to another team? Also, do you think this hurts LSU's chances uh, for the Final Four? Um, you know. I have them making it to the NCAA championship game. Um, I had that before uh, it was announced that Kateri is out. So I, I kind of still think I, I have a, um, LSU going to the championship game, but, you know, not having Kateri pull is, is huge. Um, you know, that, that, that's huge. You know, um, if it wasn't for Kateri pull last year, I don't think LSU would have won the championship. And so we will, we will see, you know, but it's not like uh, LSU doesn't have a lot of players. Like they still have a lot of players who can, who can make stuff happen. So we will see. Also a thing to note, a thing to note is that um, uh, not only do is Samaya Smith out for the, for the remainder of the season, not only is, uh, is Kateri Poole dismissed from the team, um, but now Haley Van Liff, she's been dealing with this, uh, plantar fasciitis thing for a while in her foot. Um, but she's starting to miss, she, she missed today's game. Um, and so that's a concern. Um, if you're an LSU fan that like, you'll start having players just sort of like out, out for the count, you know, you got two players out. Um, now you have a third player out in, um, Haley Van Liff. Of course she'll, she'll be back, but. But still, that's a thing that you have to sort of think about if you're if you're Kim Mulkey and the LSU Tigers. Uh, Drew says LSU is not a great three point uh, team, and she was some she was a uh, forty. Per, yeah, yeah, she could she could shoot from three. Um, she wasn't like the best three point shooter in the world, but she could shoot from three. Yeah. Uh, Lucy says, "What are your opinions of how Haley Van Liff has been playing since she transferred? 
she's been okay. You know, she's learning a new role. So she's not there. There are times when um, she's late in passing the ball because like a point guard, a point guard has to be able to anticipate what's going to happen and, and how to get the ball to your, to your teammate. And that's something that she's kind of behind on, you know, she's, she's not where she needs to be on that front. Um, but she's learning, you know, um, she's dealing with the foot issue. And so like, it's, it's kind of hard for me to truly, truly judge her because she's playing hurt or, and today she didn't even play. Um, so we'll see how she, how she plays, but like, you know, uh, this is something that LSU is, LSU is going to have to figure out a way to, to, to continue to win, especially as they go into SEC play. So like right now they've been playing pretty, pretty easy-ish teams. Um, so like today's game against Louisiana is pretty, pretty easy team, uh, to beat. Um, it's, it's about how can you step up and make stuff happen against these better teams and without Samaya Smith out with injury for the rest of the year, without Kateri Poole now gone from the team completely, and without um, Haley Van Liff, at least today, uh, she's dealing with the, with the foot issue, um, it puts a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on your younger players. And are they ready? We will see. Time will tell. Time will tell about how ready they actually are to, to make stuff happen. Uh, Pretty Ugly says, drama is Kim Mulkey's shadow. I mean, there's definitely there's definitely drama going on. Um, there's definitely drama going on, and you know, uh that that's what this that's what this year is for LSU. That's what this year this this year is. So they just gotta work through it um and 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 play through it and, and, and make stuff happen. Yeah, conference play completely is different. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um political says KRL, I think. This is Reese's last year. If she goes eighth, she can go to Atlanta or she can go to uh, USC and build her draft stock. I think she wants to build her game before going pro. Yeah. I I hope that Angel Reese stays another year in college, uh, whether that's at LSU or whether that's at another school. I don't care. I, I think I think she needs to stay another year uh, because uh, Angel Reese isn't there yet. Yes, she can be. She'll likely be drafted number eight to the Atlanta Dream, but – she's not in a position where her game will be able to sustain her in the WNBA. Like I feel like she can run an instance of possibly getting cut or like something going on where, where she doesn't necessarily make the team or if she does make the team, she doesn't really play. Um, so I, I'm hoping that she actually stays another year in college, but yeah, this overall news is pretty sad. Um, uh, Cheyenne says uh, Van Liv didn't play today. She might um, uh, true colors are going to show during conference. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to find out the real deal when conference play actually starts, because while SC, while the SEC is ruled by LSU and, and, and South Carolina, any, any team can get another team in the SEC. The SEC is filled with really good teams. Um, and so it's not like, it's not like it's going to be easy for, for uh, LSU and without having some key players on their, on their program, We'll see. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. But it's definitely gonna be it's definitely gonna be tough. It is definitely gonna be tough. Uh, Earl is says this is sad. I completely agree. This is really sad. This is really really sad. Um, B girl twelve fourteen says this is off topic, but college women's basketball. Um, this is really sad, but college women's basketball. Um stars broadcasting more games would be fun even vice versa yeah more crossover i i agree i i want there to be more crossover between the WNBA and women's college basketball because you know the the game is there you know we have um we have a lot of talent in the WNBA uh, and a lot of talent in women's college basketball people are watching women's college basketball and um i want them to eventually you know, start watching the WNBA as well. So having having more crossover, I think would be great. Um, guys who uh, missed the other live stream we had, we talked about um, the WNBA and 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 how um, the WNBA needs to uh, appeal more to women's college basketball fans. Uh, so yeah, uh, that guy Bill says Pool and Reese had a fight. How do you know? Um, how do you know, Earl or uh, Bill? That guy Bill. How do you, how do you know? Um, Shree says, I wonder also Haley Van Liff feels like her decision to come to LSU was wrong. I think it's hard to say 
if she feels like it was wrong or not until we get really into conference play. Um, I think I think that will 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 kind of tell some stuff um, because one, I guarantee you, Haley Van Liv didn't think she's going to be dealing with plantar plantar fasciitis in her in her foot. So that's a, that's a huge gym that's really limited her in terms of playing. Um, Pretty Ugly says, Poole has an IG story showing the Natty saying, thank you, Tigers fans. I think she has gone has gone entirely, not just for this year. Oh. Um, let me, let's go on Instagram and let's take a look at uh, Kateri Poole's. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a huge deal, y'all. This is a huge deal. All right, so let's uh let's uh let me share my screen. I'm gonna show y'all uh, what Katiri Pool put on um, Instagram. Um, oh wait, let me pull this up. Ah, uh, darn it. I can't share it. Um hmm. All right, well anyway, while while I try to while I try to share my screen. Um yeah, this is a big deal. This is a huge, 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 huge deal for um LSU. All right. So here is uh Katiri Pool's um uh, Instagram and here's here's what uh what was posted on, on there. Uh so Katiri Pool is is in New York as of uh, an hour ago. Katiri Pool is in New York, um, so it looks like they're probably at at, at a hotel or, or, or airport or something. Says I love New York, and then um, yeah, here's what Katiri Pool posted. Uh, Thank you, Tiger Nation. Yeah, so this is a, uh, I guess this is the farewell. I guess this is a farewell to uh, to LSU fans, letting them know that. Kateri Pool has left the building. You know, that's a bummer. That is that is a huge, huge bummer. Um, yeah. Kateri Pool not being with the team anymore. Uh Samaya Smith being hurt. Injury with um Haley Van Liff. You know, it's that's a that's a bummer. That's a bummer for uh for this team, you know. And that's uh yeah. Kateri Pool is no longer with LSU. Yeah. No longer with LSU. So yeah. That's that's the that's the big news, guys. That is that is the big news. Um let's let's see let's see what else y'all got to say. All right. Um so Waverly says Pool and Smith are huge losses for uh, uh, LSU. South Carolina and LSU are still the top teams in the SEC. What's going on at Tennessee? Y'all, a lot of stuff is going on at Tennessee. Tennessee is uh, Tennessee is looking pretty problematic. Uh, partly is because of um, Rakia Jackson being still being hurt, um, and that and that that really glaring, uh, showing a glaring issue with Tennessee. But uh, they. Hopefully, Rakia is able to come back soon because Sarah, yeah, there's an issue. There's definitely an issue. Um, Gabe says, so Poole is kicked off the team and Haley Van Liff is injured. Yeah, scary times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jimmy says, Anissa and Michaela are game changers for LSU. They are. They are. However, you do need other players who can come in and step up when they need to. Uh, so the thing about LSU is that last year, they had um, two players who stepped up huge um, for them during the uh, during the tournament. Right, you had um, uh, you had uh, Jasmine Carson who 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 started a, a ton of games last season for, for LSU, and then she stopped playing, stopped starting games, and didn't play that much. And all of a sudden, uh, she came out um, like crazy and like was killing in the in the national championship game. Uh, you had Kateri Poole, who was also kind of like playing was sort of 
like uh, in terms of starting versus playing uh, coming off the bench and whatnot was was kind of sporadic last year. But uh, but when they really needed her in the in a champ in that whole championship game, she stepped up. And so the question is this year, who does LSU have that can give them something like that when it comes to um, the actual um, national championship game? If assuming that is assuming if LSU can actually get there. So yeah, that's a that's a huge thing. Uh, Pretty Ugly says, I think Angel needs to stay another year and work on her shot in the summer. Facts. Um, you said she needs to transfer to South Carolina. They know how to develop bigs. I, I don't think she's going to South Carolina. Also, South Carolina has no room for another big. Like they just got too many. They got a lot. Not too many. I shouldn't say that. They don't have too many. They have a lot. Um, and I think if 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 she actually transferred there, I don't know if she she would uh like be the main focus where she is at LSU. Um, Emily says South Carolina will steamroll LSU in conference. We will see. I still have LSU beating South Carolina. Uh, so LSU plays South Carolina, um, during SEC conference play and they play in Baton Rouge. So I think, I think LSU has it because I think the home crowd is going to help them, help them push it through. Um, Larry says South Carolina seems poised and ready to make a run. LSU already has so much dysfunction. They do. There's a lot of dysfunction. Um, but I guess hopefully they get it together because conference play, SEC conference play, you 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 cannot, you got to come correct for that. And then when it comes to the NCAA tournament, you have to come correct for that. And so like LSU has to get it together. Uh, right now they're playing like weaker teams. So like, you know, today's game was not a big deal, like whatever. Um, but when you get to conference play, that's when we will actually be able to really, really see what this LSU Tigers team is actually made of for sure. <laughs> Diana says we don't want Angel of South Carolina. Why not? <laughs> um, Blue Blue says uh, SEC goal for getting to the tourney. Your team needs to finish one through four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, David David uh is saying um what's going on with Tennessee is what's been going on with Tennessee since they hired uh Kelly Harper. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't been able to figure out a way to make it work. Though to be fair, Tennessee has not been good since um Pat Summit wasn't the coach anymore. Um they just haven't been good. They haven't been like necessarily this bad, but they just haven't been good since then, you know? So, uh, Carol Lawson would be the next coach at Tennessee. You think so? I mean, why would she, but why she's already, so Carol Lawson's already at Duke. Why would she leave Duke and go to Tennessee? Um, let me know your, let me know, let me know what your, what your thought process is on that. But, um, but yeah, that is the news guys. Um, Kateri Poole is gone. Like completely, she is out the building, out the door um, for LSU. So, yeah. Uh, Tony says, Reese needs to develop a jump shot first. Moki doesn't get her players ready for the league. Um, I mean, some players have been ready for the league, but it, yeah. Um, more and more said, Kim Moki is disappointing. I am a fan of LSU players, but not the coach. I'm a diehard fan of Don Staley and the team. She leads to South Carolina was happy LSU beat Iowa. Um, so Sayed, uh, we don't know why uh Kateri Poole has gotten kicked off from of the team. Um, mum's the word for from um from Coach Kim Moki on the reason why uh Kateri Poole is gone. All we know is Kateri Poole is out is out the door. She is no longer with with LSU. This is a huge loss for the team, and we'll, we will see what happens from here, but it doesn't look good. It, it really doesn't look good um, because, you know, Kateri Poole was a big player. Um, and, again, I keep saying this, but, like, we, you won't totally see Kateri Poole's impact until um, we actually get into times where, like, it's super critical for, for LSU to have a player that can calm them down and get them going. 
Um, and Siri Poole is gone. Uh, according to Kimoki, she is no longer with the team. She's no longer on the team. Um, so that is that is your your breaking news for today. Um, it's another it's another piece of the LSU saga that we are continuing. It, it seems like it's it's a it's a non-sap cycle. It started with um with uh Angel Reese getting benched um for the second half of the game, and then Angel Reese was MIA for several games, and Kateri Poole wrote the bench. Now Angel Reese is back. Kateri Poole is 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 like gone completely. Um, and this season has not turned into like this hasn't been the season that people were expecting necessarily from from LSU. So yeah, this is definitely a, this is definitely an issue. Um, Poole's job was to come off the bench when needed and play defense. I think her complaining got her kicked off. Possibly, possibly, yeah. That 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 could be it. Uh, but but again, we don't know. Again, we don't know what happened. Um, go back to go back and watch her videos from high school. She got a big guard game. If these coaches um, had her at five, uh, hmm. yeah. I said what I said. Says Kim is out of touch. Period. I don't know. It, it feels like she still has uh, the backing of the rest of her team. So, like, you know, it's it it, it you know. Angel Reese is still a huge fan of Kim Mulkey. Uh, it, it seems like the rest of the the players on on LSU squad is is also big fans of of Kim Mulkey as well. So like, we will see. We will we will really really see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's that that that's the news, guys. Uh, yeah, Shree, uh, Tennessee does need <laughs> Rikia Jackson to come back uh, ASAP. Yes. Um. More and more says Kim Mulkey was fortunate to have last year's LSU team. The fact that she managed to bring drama into the LSU locker room is the reason why uh, they will not win this year. I mean, one, we don't know who brought what into the locker room. Um, but yeah, this definitely isn't a good sign um, and, and definitely doesn't necessarily help um, LSU's um, ability to, to, to come back to back and win it and win another championship. So we will see what happens. We really will. Um, but yeah, this is, a uh, this is, this is tough. Carol says, um, Angel needs to work on her fundamentals. Angel has no post moves and it start. Yeah. She does need to develop more, more, um, post post moves. Definitely. And, and she needs to develop an outside shot. She needs to develop an outside shot because, um, that will really, really, really help her. Um, Country says, uh, you know, I'm a diehard Gamecock fan. However, if Reese Morrow, Williams, and Flaugier are very competitive in March, that, yeah, they will be. And I still, I still have uh this team going to the um uh, at least at, at least the final four, if not the championship game. Like this team is still extremely talented. It's just that they're gonna require more players to step up. Um, and fill in the gap where Katiri Poole um, left, basically. Um, does the drama at LSU affect recruits going into LSU in the future or the current LSU players entering the portal? Um, I don't think so, actually. I, I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think this affects anything because even with all this stuff that's happening around LSU, LSU is still the most talked about team in women's college basketball. They are. They 100% are the most talked about team in women's college basketball. And that's because they have two of the biggest names in women's college basketball. Uh, LSU is, has Kim Mulkey, who everyone, you either love her or you love to hate her. Either way, you're talking about Kim Mulkey. Again, Angel Reese, another player. People either love her or they hate her. They love talking about her. And then you have um, other players who have come on as well. LSU is the most talked about team. So in terms of, um, NIL potential in terms of um, uh, being seen on the biggest of stages, LSU is still the place to go. So I, I don't think this hurts LSU in terms of recruiting for for uh, for um, uh, younger players. I, I don't think this hurts them at all. I really don't. Um, does this uh, hurt uh, uh, the current LSU players entering the portal? I, I don't necessarily think so. Um, so 
you know, we'll see. But like, I think in terms of the recruiting standpoint, like, I don't think it affects that much. Uh, Vic says, what? I missed it. Yeah. Yeah. Big news. Uh, Kasiri Pool is out officially at LSU. Um, so, yeah. Um, Flage is the fourth option on offense and very good on defense. She's hard to handle. Yeah. Flage, Flage is really good. I like Flage. Uh, Flage, I will say, it feels like Flage is getting drowned out. Like in terms of uh, the attention that she gets, she's getting drowned out from from her other players or from her her teammates, um, and so that's that's definitely a thing. Um, Ken Dog says Rakia should have left Tennessee. Um, well, see the thing about the thing about um, Rakia that I appreciate is she is one of those players who um, she wants to show you how good she is, and I think that's why she stayed at Tennessee because Rakia could have went could have left Tennessee and went to any team she wanted. She could she she could have went to US UC, UCLA, she could have went to USC, she could have went to um Notre Dame, um uh LSU, UConn. Like she could have went she could have went anywhere. Anywhere. But Rakia Jackson wanted to prove how good she was by ha- being on a team that just is not very good. And, and basically, she is the end-all, be-all for this team. She is a she is the player who makes everything go for Tennessee, and it's clear. Also, that means she gets a lot of the touches, and it means that she will be more pro-ready because she'll always have the ball. She basically always has the ball at her at her hands. Um, right now, right now she's injured, so like that sucks. But like, I actually, think it's kind of fine that she uh that she um uh is still at um at uh Tennessee. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh next day air said they were calling her uh Kim Moki uh Pensatucky. <laughs> I can't see it. That's funny. <clears throat> that is funny. Uh Sally says hope for the best for Katiri. Uh know that there is a place for her game. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. I, I I totally wish the best for Katiri. I hope that Katiri is able to find a a uh decide what 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 they want to do you know they you know, either either play um go to another school and play or maybe Kateri is done with basketball I don't know but I do know this if Kateri Pool wants to play basketball still wants to play basketball there is a place for her she's a very good talented player very very talented player um Let's see, guys. What what else what else do y'all want to talk about when it comes to uh when it comes to Kateri Pool? Um but yeah, so I, I do also want to just say this. Um I do I do want to say this. Uh we in my last live, I was talking about uh the WNBA and what they need to do to um get more fans and whatnot. Um if y'all uh if y'all want to talk about that, let me know. Also, uh, looks like Katiri just posted something else on Instagram. So, um, Angel Reese uh, posted a posted a uh, a, uh, a story. So it said, "Forever, my dog. You know I will love you." Um, and a hundred and behind you, Katiri Pool. Yeah. So, um, seems like. Angel Reese is not happy that Kateri Pool is no longer with the team and, and she will miss Kateri Pool. And then Kateri put uh, love my heart. So, like, for those who are saying that uh, Kateri Pool and Angel Reese was having some issue or whatever, um, this is clear that there was no issue between, or at least as of right now, there was no issue between Kateri Pool and Angel Reese because we see what Angel Reese put on, um, on, on social media. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That is that is the latest uh, latest social media post. Uh, so I, I do wonder uh, what the other uh, players for for LSU are, are feeling because you know not having a player like Kateri Pool is is for sure a big loss in the locker room. Uh, for sure, a big loss in the locker room. So so yeah, this was. Uh, this was the post that uh that Angel Reese posted on her on her uh on her Instagram page. 
uh, as an Instagram story. Yeah, so we will we will see we will see what happens. Um, we we will we will see. Uh, but yeah, y'all, this is uh this is crazy news. Um, she's been quiet for year uh, for weeks now. Angel is talking. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's what um that's what she put on on Instagram. But yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh, TP says Poole got dismissed for the same reason Morrison initially did. This is a repetitive pattern. Period. Uh, much success in the portal pool. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Larry says I don't think Angel is pro ready. Her knack for crashing the glass won't work well in a WNBA. A hundred percent. Big. Bigger and stronger players will slaughter her. She needs uh, more diverse skill sets. A hundred percent. Like like Angel Reese is a player that has a huge motor, huge motor, and I, I love it. I love watching her play. Um, but a lot of the stuff that she does in college will not work in the WNBA. It just won't. It won't. They gon they gonna push her off her square, and she ain't gonna be do, do nothing. So that's uh that's definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah. Sad sad faces for uh for um Kateri Poole. Emily says, today is a good day for Fever fans. I am so excited. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I am I am sure you are. Um, yeah. If, if y'all don't know, um, WNBA news for you. Um, the, the Indiana Fever got the number one pick in the 2020 World Draft, and it seems likely that they are picking Caitlin Clark. So, yeah, big deal. Um, next day air says, nah, big four is big four. She needs to cut a few hours out and make a song about the controversy of the sport. <laughs> She's missing out for it before it's four. Let's, let's not go there. Um, and maybe, maybe she does need to make a song about it. Who knows? Who knows? Um, political will says, I guess that's why Flage's mother was trying to get Reese phase out. Coach is holding Flage offensive punch out. Uh, trying to develop her overall game. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Katerina Poole is in Houston. I mean, but she just she just posted a she posted the I love uh, New York sign. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I I tell you this. This is a new day. This is new. This is a new day for LSU. M says, isn't Poole the one who recruited Reese to LSU? Yes. Yes. She is the one who recruited um, Reese. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Larry says, we need at least 16 teams in markets where women's hoops is popping. Yes. Yes. It'll take time, but yeah. I, I, I would love to see 16 teams um, in the WNBA. Um, next to air says BS social media team in effect. I don't know what it, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you, um, what, what do you mean? Um, oh, I think, oh, you're talking about injuries. Okay. You're talking about injuries. Okay. Oh, uh, M says this is my first live Aquita. I'm cherishing this one forever. <laughs> what up M? Thanks for joining live. Appreciate you. Um, yeah. So what what else do y'all want to talk about? Y'all want to y'all want to keep talking about LSU and Katiri, or y'all want to uh, move on to WNBA? Let me know. Let me know what y'all want to talk about in the comments, and we'll and we'll move on if you all want to move on. Um, Sharice says, "I wonder how strong is the W is the draft class for the WNBA this year? I personally think it's weaker than the class from last year. It it depends on who on who uh, opts in for the draft. It it really it really really depends." Um, Okay, so Emily says WNBA, please. Okay, it looks like both. Okay, all right. I I think uh, I mean the people are saying people are saying WNBA. So so let's okay, guys. Let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about the WNBA. So for those who do not know, um, the WNBA had their uh, their draft um, lottery draft today. And y'all, we're 
we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk about this because there's some interesting there's some interesting stuff going on um in terms of what teams got selected. So we have number one in the WNBA draft is um a really good player, uh Caitlin Clark. She's likely gonna go to the Indiana Fever. Um so Indiana Indiana Fever are number one in the WNBA um, draft for 2024. We also have the LA Sparks at number two. Um, we have, and likely they're going to get Cameron Rink, likely. Um, and then we have um, the Phoenix Mercury at number three, and they are likely, likely, likely going to go for um, Kate, or Paige Beckers. Uh, Paige Beckers is eligible to go into the WNBA draft. Um, and so if she does, she will likely be drafted to the um, the Phoenix Mercury. And then we have, uh, finally, we have the Seattle Storm, who possibly will go to, um, uh, likely they'll, they'll probably select Camila Cardoso. So that, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the big news in terms of the WNBA. Um, so yeah, let's let's uh let's let's talk let's talk about the WNBA, y'all. So uh one of the things that we talked about in our last live stream was um the WNBA and what they need to do to get more fans. Um and I think this upcoming draft is really going to help uh the WNBA get more fans uh because you have some big names coming out, some huge huge names. But I do want to I do want to um flag something real quick that I thought was pretty was pretty interesting. <laughs> um let me let me let me share my screen. So I hope uh let's see if y'all can actually see this. Y'all may not actually be able to see this. Okay. So um some, somebody posted that Erica Wheeler is a goner. Caitlin Clark, um, the point guard role is yours, baby. <laughs> and Erica Wheeler commented with laughing emojis. I thought that was pretty funny. I thought I thought that was pretty funny. But I I I tell you this, I tell you this, um, you know, uh I think you're going to see a lot of people probably putting stuff about that, uh, putting stuff out there like that. Um, but yeah, Chrissy Sides posted, what a day go fever uh, about the news about the Indiana fever getting the number one pick. Um, uh, yes. Again, another franchise uh, changer on the way. Number one pick again. Um, <laughs> so here, so here, here's what else, here's what else uh, was posted. So, um, yeah, so this person said Erica is a goner. Erica laughed about it. And someone said, hater is going to hate. Uh, watch what happens when you play next to good players. Uh, they'll see how good you really are. Um, amazing Fever is just getting started. <laughs> Erica says, appreciate you. I love my haters, too. I, I need haters. Let us know we doing something right. The haters just think it's only basketball when it's not. It's cool most days. I don't have to respond, but I had time today. Today was a great day. <laughs> In her ice ice cube voice, today was a good day for Erica Wheeler. Um, yeah, I think you're, you're probably gonna have a lot of people trolling Erica Wheeler <laughs> that I um, that saying stuff. But but y'all, um, Erica Wheeler, wow, you know she she can she can be a, a pretty good facilitator at times. But I think her her real value is is what she does in the locker room for for her team. So. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. <laughs> Next day, Air says bye bye Wheeler. <laughs> I don't think she's going. Erica Wheeler's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Her her and Chrissy Sides are like best buds. Uh, I I don't think I don't think uh, Erica Wheeler's going anywhere. She's 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 fine. But I guarantee you, Erica Wheeler's going to step up her game. She's going to step up her game for sure. Um. Uh, Joylin says, "Yep, Wheeler got paid uh, when they could have kept Henny. Um, y'all, did y'all know that Erica Wheeler? I believe she's the she was the highest paid uh, WNBA player this past season. So yeah, she was she was the highest paid player. Yeah, yeah. Emily says the way my jaw dropped when I found out she was the highest paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um." Let's see. Let's see what else I got to say. Uh, Creole says um, uh, Baton Rouge needs an WNBA expansion team. Uh, the fans are crazy. 
uh, and it'll be their only sports team. That could be kind of cool. Um, yeah, I th that that could be kind of cool. I I wonder though if um if the fans will will like come out to support. I know they come out to support LSU, but like. Like, I wonder if the if they'll come out to support uh, a WNBA team as well. Like, I'm not I'm not quite sure, but that would be kind of cool to see uh, a WNBA team in Baton Rouge. Yeah. Uh, Michaela says, "I think the Sparks should get Cameron Brink. They should, a hundred percent. They should." Um. <laughs> Emily says, "No, but for real, we have to get Wheeler out there." Erica Wheeler's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. So y'all, y'all, okay. <laughs> she she is not going anywhere. Uh, David says, can you compare Cardoso from South Carolina to Lee uh, from K State uh, for WNBA potential? Are they close? Um, yeah, I think Ioka Lee is really good. Um, I, I I think she's really good. In some ways, she 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 kind of has she has uh, a little bit more in terms of like post moves that she can go to than Camila Cardoso. But I think Camila Cardoso gets the edge because night in and night out, uh, she will play better competition than Ioka Lee will. And so in that in that case, she she will be a little bit better prepared for the W than um, Ioka Lee. But like, I Ioka Lee has, has more post moves, I think. Um, yeah. Um, but I think, I think, uh, I think that Camila Cardoso is stronger um and and is and is a little bit better on the defensive end especially when it when it comes to blocking shots so that's that's my opinion on those on those people um Sheree says i think Paige should leave uconn before she gets hurt again yeah and she has to think about her future yeah um uh, written 12 says i love jane's way but man on this day on days like this you realize how yes can you imagine the sky could have had the number five pick in the WNBA draft? Like likely Rakia Jackson is probably going number five. Like the sky could have had that, but we won't. Unfortunately it is what it is. Y'all I'm kind of bummed about it, but you know, shout out to James Wade. I hope he's doing well. Um, in, in, uh, in Toronto. Um, Sally says Phoenix has the fans hope they can fix the internal drama. Seattle has a huge fan base. They need some size. Yes. And they're, they're going to get some size with Camila Cardoso, likely. Um, Rube says, uh, that is hilarious. I like Wheeler, but she got to play uh, better for sure. Uh, she is one of the high. She is the highest played player. Yeah, not one of the highest played. Um, Luther says, I know that LSU coach is saying that N-word from time. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. Um, Drew says, imagine Aaliyah Boston, Caitlin Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, and Alyssa Smith. That would be amazing. So here's the thing. I am, I wonder how Kelsey Mitchell will play with Caitlin Clark. That is something that I am just, I'm not sure. Um, Kelsey Mitchell is a phenomenal player. She is. She can, she can ball. Uh, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how 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 they play together. I'm not sure. Uh, Larry says, I think Wheeler and Kaylin Clark can play in the same uh, lineup. It can happen. Sure, it can happen. Yeah, I, I don't think Wheeler is gonna gonna start um, with uh, Caitlin. I I could imagine, um, you no know, Wheeler being like the sixth man or something like that coming off the bench, um, or maybe initially Wheeler starts. Um, for uh, Caitlin to sort of get her bearings together and then eventually Caitlin starts starting. Um, but I can't see them necessarily starting at the same time, but I can see them playing on the court at the same time. Um, let's see. Uh, Larry says, not going to lie, I enjoyed seeing the disappointment of conference banner on Kurt's face when he thought he would get the number one pick. <laughs> oh, poor Kurt Miller. <laughs> Um, uh, Sheree says, um, Bleacher Report is, or Bleacher Report, <laughs> Baton Rouge is dangerous for WNBA and, and financially not sustainable, uh, there at all. Let them concentrate on the Pelicans. 
Well, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, Cardoso foot speed is yeah. She got it. She has to get faster. She does. She does. Uh, Emily says Lee has no mobility and no uh, mid range or three point shot. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have that. Card, uh, Camilla Card also doesn't have that either. Or, yeah. Um, but I, I, I think, I think around the paint, um, Ioka Lee can move. Around the paint, she can move. But yeah, in general, yeah, yeah she's not. She's not that mobile. <clears throat> Um, Rube says, all I know is Kaylin Clark will willingly throw entry passes to Aaliyah Boston all day. Her passing is special and next level. Facts. Completely agree with you, Rube. Completely. Completely. Um, RC, what up? What up, RC? Uh, RC says, uh, Kaylin is about to bring Iowa to Indiana. She is. She is. She is. Um... What's up, Bree says, I wonder if Kaylin even wants to be drafted by the future. I think she does. I, I think that, in my opinion, I, I don't have any proof on this. I think that um, the reason why Kaylin was like, oh, I, I'm going to play like it's my last year and I'm not quite sure I'll feel it is because I think she she didn't want to say, yes, for sure, I'm going to the WNBA this year and have a team that she doesn't want to go to uh, be the number one pick. Um, Caitlin knows that she's going to be the number one pick. Even if she doesn't say it, she knows she's going to be the number one pick. And I think she wanted to kind of like hedge her bets and see what team actually got the number one pick. And now that it's Indiana, I think she wants to go to Indiana. I do. I really do. I, I don't think she necessarily wanted to go to any of these other, uh, teams. Uh, so I, I think she wants to be in Indiana and I think she's definitely going to the w, WNBA after this for sure. But we will see, we will see what happens. Um, uh, Pluk Khalil says, uh, that's a good question with her success in the Midwest. Indiana is the best market for her, uh, to continue her fan base. Yeah. I, I also think it's the best market. I do. I also think it's the best market. RC says, guess I'm going to be the lost Indy Indiana Vegas fever aces. Fan. <laughs> um, Uh, RC says, Melissa, Kelsey, Erica, fall in line. This lady number two here out of Iowa. This is your leader. <laughs> um, Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, <laughs> you are cutting up, RC. You are cutting up. You are cutting up. You are. Um, Waverly says, which player in the draft can you build a franchise around? Um, I think you can build a franchise around uh, Caitlin Clark. Um, Rakia Jackson, and um, I would also say Cameron Brink. Yeah, I think you can build a build a franchise around those players. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Caitlin Clark wants to play with Leah Boston. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do well together. They are. They're gonna do well together. Um, M says Caitlin did so much for Iowa. Uh, and is about to surpass Plum and points. She's ready for the league. She is ready for the league. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chris says Caitlin's boyfriend is in Indiana. So, th again, that makes even more sense. That makes even more sense for her to go to Indiana and for her to enter the WNB draft. I, I think she's going for the draft. I do. Um, Marcus says taking 30 shots uh, is a lot, but it doesn't change the fact that Caitlin's a generational scoring talent in addition to her passing and basketball IQ. And I think, I think when she goes to the WNBA, I don't think Caitlin Clark would be shooting as many threes because she'll have more players that she can actually, like she can really, really rely on. And she doesn't have to feel like she, ha she has to do it all because she'll have um, Aaliyah Boston in the paint. She'll have Nalissa Smith um, sort of roaming around uh, players who can score um, and so I, I don't think she will feel like she has to do it all. And so I, I think uh, her efficiency will improve when she goes to the WNBA because she'll have more players that she can kind of rely on night in and night out. Yes, she trusts her and believes in her, her teammates, but when the game is on the line, she kind of has to just do it all and kind of just chucks up shots and whatnot. And I think, uh, I think this is, this is not, um, this is not going to be the case 
when she goes to um, the WNBA. So, yeah, that that's a that's for sure a thing. Um, <laughs> Political Lil says um, that's why I think the Indiana Fever got that first pick. I certainly don't think it was luck. You know, do you, what do you, do you think something nefarious happened? Why, why do you, what do you, why do you think that? Um, uh, Marcus says Katie takes 30 shots a game. Sometimes too. It doesn't stop him from being arguably the best uh, scorer in NBA history. Facts. Roof says, I'm curious to see how Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell gel kind of worried about that defense. Yeah, I am. I am very curious about that. Cause I think that's, I think Caitlin would do well with Nalissa and Aaliyah. I have no, no, no problems with that. Kelsey, Kelsey's a phenomenal player. She is. I just wonder how those two will, will, will play together. Like, I, I wonder about that. Uh, Larry says, I think people are sleeping on Brink. She is very good. She is very good. Facts. A hundred percent. Like she's so good that I think she's going number two in the draft. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a very good player. Um, Sheree says, I wish Brink would go to Atlanta with Haley Jones. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not, they're not getting, they're not getting her, <laughs> um, because they're number eight. Um, they're going to likely get Angel Reese if she, if she, if she goes for the draft. Um, uh, Sally says, I'm checking out, but you're a wonderful host. Love your comments. Uh, appreciate you, Sally. See you later. <laughs> um, <laughs> RC RC is telling y'all to spell Caitlyn's name correctly. Our <laughs> our RC RC is saying, "Hey, you better you better say her name correct." Um uh Ricky said, "Wait, what happened?" Um so I guess I probably should change the title of this video now. Uh so Kateri Poole was dismissed from LSU uh for those who do not know. Um, Kateri Poole is a player who's been at LSU for uh, two seasons. Uh, she helped bring um, Angel Reese to, to LSU. Um, she was a huge factor in, in uh, LSU winning the national championship last season. Um, and now she has been, she's gone from the team. She's gone. Uh, we don't know exactly what happened, uh, but yeah. It'll probably be mom's word for, for LSU um, going forward. So we probably won't hear much of anything. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's what happened. That is what happened. Um, Christopher says, Hey there, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Christopher. I uh, hope all is well. Um, big question. What's for dinner tonight? And remember in Don, we trust, <laughs> uh, Christopher, uh, likely what's for dinner is frozen pizza. Yeah. Uh, frozen pizza is likely what is for dinner today. And then got and Don we trust, I guess. <laughs> um Rube says, yeah, that's true. A B and Smith can cover a lot of ground for the guards defensively. I mean, I for sure. Um Melissa can, for sure. Um Let's see. Let's see. Uh Kelsey says, who should Seattle select? Uh they will likely select Camila Cardoso. Um it just makes sense. It just makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, RC says, will Kateri Poole still play basketball, though? I think so. I hope so. Uh, Kateri Poole is a really good really good player. So I hope I hope Kateri continues to play basketball. Um, but um, whatever Kateri decides to do in college, uh, we won't see anything else until next year, um, next season, because since she already played for LSU, LSU this season, she cannot, she can transfer to another team, but she cannot play for another team this season. So she has to kind of wait, wait her turn. Um, let's see, uh, Bird to Boston um, and Magic to Lakers didn't, I didn't know that was an accident either. Uh, it's a, I don't think that was an accident either. It's a strategy for growth. To me, the Indiana Fever feels like the same thing. Well, maybe, maybe. It's a good strategy for sure. Um, David says, I think maybe there's a bigger problem with chemistry in the LSU locker room. Possibly. 
but they're not um while we're possibly seeing sort of cracks in terms of a uh, news happening um the the LSU locker room they they have a they have a good front showing where they're not telling people if something is going on they're not telling us what it is so hey that is what it is um loki says why though what does she do also on LSU on Twitter, them LSU fans, something else about how she didn't do nothing. What? Okay, people who say that um Kateri Poole didn't do nothing, y'all just some straight up stat readers. That's all y'all doing is, is reading stats. Like, it's no way you could watch LSU play uh last year in the tournament and say that um Kateri Poole did nothing. She calmed the team down when she needed to. She she was she was a player that you can consistently rely on for defense. You know, uh, she she was able to always give good minutes. I'm I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure uh what the problem is. Like I I don't understand like why people would say that uh Kasiri Poole um didn't do anything. Also, y'all, um, Angel Reese's mom just posted on Twitter uh, about Kateri Poole. Um, so here's here's what uh, Angel Reese's mom just posted. Uh, said, uh, KP, my favorite New York baller. We love you, Reese, the Reese family. So uh, the Reese family is showing, is showing uh, Kateri Poole some love. They're showing Kateri Poole some love. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Uh, M says, can players join the transfer portal now, or do they have to wait till the season's over? They, they can, they can actually enter the portal now if they want, they can enter the portal now. Um, they can't play for another team this year, but they can enter the portal. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see what else, what else y'all talking about? Um, RC says Charisma Osborne and Haley Van Liff will definitely be traded, but I think both of their stocks, um, um, a little hit. Oh, uh, Charisma Osborne, I hope she, I hope she actually like gets some playing time this year. I, I supposedly she's injured or something right now. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, Charisma Osborne is back soon because, because Kateri, Kateri, um, you know, he's a player. Next day, Air says, uh, "Low key, Quita knows, even though she's giving my comments." <laughs> All right, next day. <laughs> no comment. Next day, Air. No comment. <laughs> no, no comment. No comment. Um. Marcus says the tank for Caitlin attempt worked. Perhaps it, yeah, clearly it did. Clearly, yeah. Uh, bringing Griner together on the same team will work strong for real. That would that would be pretty interesting. That would be pretty pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'm honestly curious to see if Caitlin. Um, can still clock mad offensive numbers on a team with talent. I mean, no, she's not gonna be go hitting crazy numbers like like this, uh, like she's doing now. But yeah. Um, next to air says pool is great. She is great. Yeah, she is great. Uh, pool is her daughter daughter in law. <laughs> what? Next to air, you're you're going you're going crazy today. <laughs> Um, uh, Waverly uh, Pickney, uh, what a, what an interesting name. Uh, says it could be argued that without pool, LSU would not have won the Natty. I I a hundred, yeah. I I think people can say that. Yeah, I think I think people can say that. Um, okay, Ebo. Uh, Terry uses they them pronouns in be in behind. I'm behind in the stream. So okay, okay. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, Tracy says, hey, Quita, I watched the UConn game today and Paige Beckers hit her 1,000 points uh, uh, today. So congratulations to her after everything. She's got- oh, that's cool. That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> Next day, Harris is like, it. moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> um not all uh transfers yeah but but she would or because Jerry Poole would because um if you've already played if you played in the season um you cannot then move and go to another team so so Kateri Poole would not be able to play for another team this season she can Transfer. I mean, because Kateri Pool could transfer, but like, nah, can't can't play for another team. Um, Loki says the main reason, um, but the fans uh, wasn't doing anything. So, uh, well, so sometimes sometimes fans are like, sometimes we are very concerned about points scored, and I do that too sometimes. Um, that like sometimes we don't realize necessarily the the value that players give um, when when they're on the court. Uh, sometimes we don't we don't realize that value, um, but you know, Kateri Poole was was phenomenal even with you know not that many points scored a game. Uh, Kateri Poole was a really good player. Nadia says, Katiri Pool and Ashley Awusu have so much in common. <laughs> please, please explain. Please, please explain, Nadia. I, I, I feel like I might get what you're talking about, but, but please, uh, please clarify. Um, uh, last name first says, why is the LSU girls team going through so much when they just want a chip? I mean. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, next day, Air says LSU wouldn't wouldn't have won an Addy without Pool. You, you spell uh, Carson and Morris wrong. Facts, them too. Yeah, it's it's not it like it's not just the uh, Kateri Pool. It, it it was um, Jasmine Carson who like lit it up from three point land. Um, it was Alexis Morris shooting big buckets when she needed to. It was uh, Angel Reese um, uh, uh, doing doing what she normally does in the paint. Um, yeah, uh, they don't win without those players. They don't win without those players. So, a hundred percent, very very talented. Also, it was it was last year Poa uh, coming in the game and, and bringing in some good minutes as well. Um, so yeah, it was. It was all of them that um, that that got LSU the championship. So yeah, 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 Nadia. Um, yeah, they're both sad by their coaches, and they're both from New York. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Rusty Nail says Poole had six points and was also in foul. Yeah, that's true too. That's true too. <laughs> That is true too. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? What else? All right, guys. Um, we are. I'm gonna probably end the stream in probably about ten minutes. So let me know if there's anything else I want to talk about before we end the stream. Um, anything else related to the WNBA? Um, LSU, whatever, let me know. Um, M says, I always wonder how much, uh, Talasia Cooper who transferred from South Carolina to Tennessee would have helped Rakia if she played this season. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We will see. Um, she would have been big though. Um, uh, DJ Tiff, what up, DJ Tiff? Uh, they said uh, during the past W season, the committee group reported on Twitter that Kelsey Mitchell requested a trade from from Indy. Don't know how true that is. Oh, I, I didn't, I, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if, 
yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the case is on that, but um, if she did request a, tra a trade, that's interesting. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if if she if she wants one now. I I don't know. I didn't I didn't hear that at the time, so um, not quite sure what to tell you. I, it's possible that she could have uh, requested a trade, uh, Kelsey Mitchell, but I mean, but you know, we'll see. I wonder if I wonder what what uh you know if she's having talks with uh, Lynn Dunn right now and, and what and what she what she's saying. <laughs> Last name first says no New York slander allowed. <laughs> I assume you're with you're you're from New York. I assume. Uh, Carol says facts. Carson gave them the edge. Le yes, and we can't forget about Ladeja Williams. Yes, we cannot forget about Ladeja Williams. Um, Ladeja Williams was, was was really good as well. Uh, Poa took Caitlin out. And put her in foul trouble. Facts. Uh, Pool was killing with defense, and Alexis was vital in the second half. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> man, country, you out. Well. <laughs> country says with friends like Angel Reese's mom, who needs enemies? Dang, <laughs> dang. <laughs> um. Uh, next day, Air says it was Poa's defense in the in the national championship game. She prefer she performed a master class. Poa last year, Poa is really good too. I it's 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 interesting to see um, like the minutes she's gotten so far this year. I I'm curious to see how as like um, LSU goes into um, into SEC play, how um, last year Poa's minutes um, sort of adjust. Uh, Cause likely she'll be getting a lot more playing time when we, when they actually get into games that really, really matter. Um, Carson was a start of the entire season until the tournament um, POA uh, defense on Clark was really what, what saved the day. Um, oh, Poa. Uh, they, yep. 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 Let's see. Oh, Larry. So Larry says a little off topic, but do you think Candace comes back next year? By Candace, I assume you mean Candace Parker. And um, the documentary that came out, that ESPN came out with, um, it made me kind of feel like Candace Parker wasn't going to come back. Um, I hope I am uh, just like uh, reacting strongly to it and like that she will come back. I hope she does. Uh, Candace Parker. Um, I've been like a huge fan of Candace Parker for a long, long, long time, um, since her like Naperville days. Um, and then when she went to Tennessee, so I, I hope, I hope Candace Parker has one more year left. Um, because, uh, the reason why I think that is because, um, I think Candace Parker, she's done so much for the game of women's basketball that she needs a farewell tour. And I hope she comes back so she can get that proper farewell tour because, you know, Candace Parker is, you know, she has been the elite of the elite for so long and she has really changed the game of women's basketball. Um, and I hope that she comes back so that way she can be, get properly thanked for, for what she's, what she's done to the, for the game. So I hope she comes back. I really do. Um, uh, RC says, Quiddy in the chat, who won between UConn and North Carolina? I wasn't able to see that game. Um, I assume... I assume uh, uh, UConn won. I assume, but uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, RC uh, Emily says, um, make a video about it. I need to see what other people think. Yeah, make a video, RC. Uh, y'all, if y'all um, RC makes a RC makes um YouTube videos. So uh, if y'all not um checking out RC videos, check them out. Also, if if any of y'all any of y'all other people on here make YouTube videos, let me know. I would love to check out y'all channel. Um. Well, yeah, the refs too. The refs too. <laughs> the refs too. The refs too. Yep, yep, yep. Um, M says, if freshmen were eligible, who do you think would be drafted to the WNBA? Well, I think a lot of, I think a good amount of freshmen would be drafted. I think uh, Juju would be drafted. Um, I think that, um, you know, I, I think uh, um, Hannah Hodago. Would at would at would be drafted as well. Um, I think you know Malaysia Fulwali, uh, maybe maybe not. I mean, she she has a lot of promise, but like 
I think she needs to um, develop develop a little bit more. Like she's she's kind of there, uh, but but in terms of like discipline on the court, um, not quite there in terms of like decision making and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I for sure think um, Juju would 100 percent be drafted into WNBA. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's see what else y'all want to talk about before we go. Um, uh, Nick, 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 I don't know. I'm going to say your name. Uh, South Carolina Johnson, uh, is having a bounce back year after Caitlin waved her off defensively overall. Yes. Today, Raven Johnson had a horrible game, but overall this season, I would agree with you. Um, if you count all other eight games besides today's game, yes. Raven Johnson has, um, has really, um, developed, has really, really developed. All right, RC said he's gonna make that video, so check it out when it when it gets there. Uh, check it out. Um, RC said, "Are you shocked? My Hawkeye is still ranked in the top 10. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh no! Next day, said Candace Parker sucks. <laughs> I mean, she's not the player she used to be, but um, I can tell you this: um, I think that you saw her impact on the Las Vegas Aces. Uh, yes, the Las Vegas Aces repeated, but they would have done it easier if Candace Parker was 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 still was was not hurt for the rest of the season. Um, Candace Parker is a player who does not necessarily want to be the end all be all for a team. Uh, and I think that's partially why she left Chicago. Um, yes, she said it was because she wanted her own locker room, but also is because she had she just had to do too much. Um, and she's an older player, you know, and she still she still has it in her to play, but like also she doesn't have it in her to be, be the end all be all for a team. Um, and 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 with the Las Vegas Aces, she could just play her role, you know. She can she can get she can hit some three pointers. She can hit some jump shots. Um, she's still you know a starter, a hundred percent still a starter. Uh, but she's not the end all be all of a team anymore. So like yeah, if you're talking about that, yeah, she doesn't have it like she used to. But you know, I I, uh, I, I think uh, Candace Parker can still play. She can still play. Uh, Marcus says, I mean, she's old now, but like, she's one of the greatest of all times. Facts. She is the greatest. She's one of the greatest of all times. Of, uh... <laughs> Emily says, stop next day. Aaron. <laughs> stop. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see what else I got to say. Um, videos for life says I secretly, I think secretly Candace doesn't want a fail world tour, but I wouldn't mind that. She probably doesn't. She probably doesn't, but she deserves it. She deserves it. Um, she really does deserve it. Um, next to Eris, I, I, I heard she sat out for other reasons, not injuries. I hate people aren't team players. Candace has, uh, to respect the game for it to respect her. I think she does respect the game. I mean, I, I don't know what other reason why she didn't play if it wasn't for injuries because Candace Parker was starting on the team. Like she, and she, it seemed like she was extremely happy with her role. You know, she started, uh, you know, and 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 she would have um, she would, you know, come in and out of the game. But like she scored when she wanted to score. She kind of got to do whatever she wanted to do. Um, and she wasn't a liability. So, like, I I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else. Uh, what other reason it could have been if it wasn't for injuries. Um, uh, Pluto Lil says, agreed. Uh, Candace deserves a farewell tour. Hate to see her go. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Waverly Pickney says, Candace needs to come back, get the fourth chip, and ride out into glory if she wants to. That'd be cool. That will be cool. Uh, M says, uh, Clea, we never knew uh who's uh you don't uh my favorite team um my favorite team is uh is the chicago sky that's my favorite team um that's that's a team i ride for good or bad i ride for the chicago sky <laughs> and we've been bad for a long time like well 
before before um uh before Candace got there and whatnot, like the sky has dealt with a horrible like we we went through a couple coaches. We were bad for a long time. Uh, and then we started to get back and get it back together, started to build something. We won a championship. And now I'm hoping that we don't go back down. We just kind of coast a little bit and start and start going up with our with our new coach of Teresa Weatherspoon. Uh, shout out to Coach Coach uh, Coach uh, um, Weatherspoon, Coach Spoon. Um, agreed. Videos for life. Candace clearly does not suck. She won a ring last year. Yeah. Um. Uh, Marcus says she doesn't suck, but she is old. Yeah, she's old. You know, she is old. Uh, Carol says Aces would have uh, done it without her. Candace would have uh, been able to have fun if she would have been healthy this year. She would have retired possibly. Yeah, if she if she would have actually like been able to play, um, she maybe would have retired after after it, like directly after it. We'll see how her, you know. She says she'll see how her, how her body feels, and that'll tell her. Kind of if if she needs if she should come back or not, um, but I'm hoping she does come back. Uh, Market says I'm not questioning Caitlin's greatness, but can she carry this team to a title? I don't know personally. You, you mean the current Iowa team? No, she cannot carry this team to a title. I don't. I I, I don't think there's. Regardless of how great Kate, Caitlin is, I don't think she can carry Iowa to a title. No. Um, facts. Waverly. Waverly says Candace Parker today is still a lot better than other players in the W. Facts. Facts. Even though Candace Parker is old, she can still ball. She can still ball out. Um. So so put put some respect on Candace Parker's name. I'm just saying. Put some respect on her name. Put some respect on her name. Um. Uh. Let's see. Uh, Allison says uh, Candace was the first player, uh, the first type type of player. Um, she did not play last year. Because, I mean, she played, but um, uh, she she didn't play the full year. Yeah, Loki. My favorite team is the Chicago Sky. Uh, I don't have a favorite team in in, in, in college. Uh, I went to a small school, so I didn't I didn't go to a uh, a D one school. So I I have zero allegiances to uh, any. Uh, college team, but in the WNBA, I rode. I rode with the Chicago Sky. I rode the Chicago Sky. Uh, M, I agree. <laughs> this Candace Candace Parker disrespect is crazy. I agree. <laughs> um, Larry says she went on record saying she doesn't want a farewell tour. And even if she doesn't want one, I still want to give her one. Like I, I just do. I just do. Uh, she's been so great to the game that that even if she doesn't want one, she deserves one. And I hope she gets one. I hope she comes back for another season so everyone can treat this upcoming season like it's a, a it's a farewell to her, even if she even if she doesn't claim to want it. Um, you know, for, for all time greats of the game, I think I think as as fans, I think we need to um on their way out, I think we need to show them how how loved they are and how and how much we have enjoyed watching them play. Um, so I, I hope that Candace gets that. Uh, because she really has, she really was a generational talent, and she really has transformed the game of women's basketball. Like she, she just has. Um, so I, I could be biased, but but I'm a huge Candace Parker fan, huge. Um, Larry says she didn't play because her foot was fractured. Yep. <laughs> the next day, Air just doesn't like her. <laughs> um, that Libra says, "Love me some Marina Mabry." Um. Uh, em Emily says, "So, are you a DePaul or Northwestern fan for the NCAA?" Um, no. I mean, yeah, sure, they're in Chicago. Um, and I'll I'll, I'll go to a game or two, but I'm not like go DePaul, go go Northwestern, go. Like I just, you know, I'll go I'll go to the games. Like uh, of, of all the games of the for the NCAA, I will go to those games mainly because I'm like right here, so it's not it's not far to go to those games. Um, but yeah. Quan says she's got here. What happened to Poole? Kateri Poole has been um, – she's no longer with the team. Uh, according to LSU and Kim Moki, she is no longer with the team. 
Uh, we don't exactly know what happened, but uh, we do know she's no longer with the team. So that is uh, that is today's update for Katiri Poole. We talked about that a lot earlier. So if you want to go back in the stream um, to hear to hear talk about uh, Katiri Poole, you can do that. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the that's the big news. That is that is the big news. Uh, country said UConn won by twelve. Thank you, Country. Um, BJ Tess says Candace is a great player and a great teacher. Fourth chip and a farewell tour is must. Yes. Um, yeah, don't blame uh, Candace for not wanting that. Not every legend wants that. Tim Duncan. Yeah, yeah, true. But I still, I still want her to get one. <laughs> I still do. Okay, maybe uh, if she really doesn't want it, just we can just not call it a farewell tour. We could just call it uh, a Candace Parker appreciation tour or something. I don't know. We can call it something else. Uh, Waverly Pigney says, I know of no player who consistently tries to move the game for women uh, than Candace Parker the same way her coach did at the legend Pat Summit. Facts, man. Pat Summit was amazing, y'all. Pat... Pat Summit was phenomenal. Um, phenomenal. And Candace Parker, yeah, has 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 really taken the banner that um that that um Pat Summit had for sure to to move the game forward. Um, and she's truly doing that. Uh country says Juju is the most ready freshman. Yeah, yeah, Juju's ready. Juju is ready, 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 ready. Uh, I think you're talking about Juju here, Marcus. Uh, she legit might be the best player in the country one day. Um, wait, Larry said these Candace haters are team Gino. <laughs> um, Emily says, uh, why is everyone acting like Juju Watkins is it? I'm seriously not that impressed. Um, I mean, I've, I, I, I think Juju has been pretty impressive. Um, she's, she's, and, and the thing about Juju is that it feels like she is, she is the true main option for this team, uh, which is a different scenario than, than a lot of the other freshmen, because while the, a lot of the other freshmen are good, there are other options. Um, and technically there are with, 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 uh, with, uh, Southern Cal, but not, not really, it really is Juju Watkins, um, as, as the, as the biggest of deals. Um, Next to air says, I'm old school. Candace Parker is no different from a lot of the greats. I mean, I could be biased, but I, I feel like Candace Parker is, is like one of the best players to ever play the game. Um, but again, I might, might be biased uh, because, you know, she's from the Chicagoland area. Um, but I've watched her career and she is, she's amazing. Amazing. Um. Uh, next day, Aries says no slander here. Just kind of average compared to Don, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl, uh, Cynthia. Just uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, fair enough. Uh, all right. There's. <laughs> Emily's talking about watching Marina Mabry fight compilations. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that that that's pretty funny. <laughs> A Mabry versus Tarazi fight would go crazy. <laughs> that's 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 pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> that is that is pretty funny. This is a marathon, man, y'all. We went like, I feel like almost two hours on the other stream. Had an issue with the stream, so I I got off, made, got the, did this one, and yeah, this this really feels like it. Um, yeah. All right, uh, guys, I have been going on for this on on here for a long time, um. So, yeah, I think I think uh, we are about to call it quits. But is there anything else y'all want to say? 
Anything else y'all want to say? Because uh, I need to walk my dogs and I need to eat lunch. Or not eat lunch, eat dinner. <laughs> and I got to I gotta prep for tomorrow's episode. So tomorrow we got a very special episode of Women's, uh, Women's uh, Basketball Weekly. We're going to do a recap of all the games that happened today, yesterday, all the games of this, that happened this past week. Um, I have some very interesting um, uh, facts to share with you all in the uh, history section, uh, in the history books. Um, and then we're going to go over some, some uh, international play. Um, and we're going to talk about the fact that uh, uh, Kennedy Carter is no longer with her team. Um, she was uh, on a Chinese team. She's no longer with the team. We're going to talk about that in tomorrow's episode of Women's Basketball Weekly, guys. Um, uh, thank y'all so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, Emily says, I love being on stream with my people. This is great. See, and, and this is what I, what this is what I really love about the community that we have created. Like we are a community of women's basketball fans who like we argue sometimes in the chat. We we have a good time. We stand for some of uh, for, for our teams, and we and we just love the game of women's women's basketball. And I love that, and I really do appreciate y'all. Keep rocking with women's college basketball uh rock with the WNBA if you're not rocking with the WNBA um let's continue to grow the game of women's basketball because you know it's awesome it's entertaining and we are all here for it so uh, I think I do thank y'all so much for joining just want to get the rest of uh, these comments in um yeah please if you if you can on your way out if you can hit that like button that would be really really awesome uh Deja says Maya Moore is the best Maya Moore is the best she is and she's gonna be enshrined in the uh, in the women's basketball hall of fame. Uh, so so yeah, pretty exciting. Um, she really is amazing. Uh, Art Dog says great stream tonight. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Um, Pierre says didn't know you had more than one dog. Yeah, I do. I have two dogs. Two dogs. Uh, I have two dogs. Yep. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're like, can you take us out? <laughs> so I'm I forgot to take them out um kenneth says greatly appreciate you and your channel great work have a great evening great evening to you as well um marcus thanks so much for joining appreciate y'all appreciate you allison uh videos for life uh great stream kudo really enjoyed your live stream tonight thank you so much thanks for joining appreciate y'all um uh bj says thanks thank you thank you thank you uh, yes, uh, please listen to Jason. Please hit that like button. That really helps the channel. Also, if y'all have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. There's a lot of people who watch my videos all the time are not subscribed to the channel. So if y'all can uh, subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, man, Larry, you're on one. Larry, <laughs> Larry is on one tonight. <laughs> you are really riding next day air, man. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um Nita says find Sabrina shoes. <laughs> that her her that shoe debacle will never will never be over. <laughs> but truly, what happened to those shoes though? I'm I'm just saying, what what happened to those shoes? Did she ever find those shoes? Does anyone know? Shoe gate 2023. Um, but yeah. Uh y'all rock. I appreciate y'all. Um I think that I think that's about it. Um, Kyra, thanks so much for joining. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Um, y'all meet me back here tomorrow uh, for another episode of Women's Basketball Weekly. Also, let me know um, in the in the in the chat uh, what streams y'all want me to do this upcoming week. Uh, so I'll probably be able to probably do a live stream on um, on probably Wednesday um, and Friday. So. Um, so we can talk about uh, some of the games that happen next week. So, so yeah, so yeah, we'll 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 talk about a lot of that stuff. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, M says love discussing and fighting with people about women's women's basketball and things. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 fun, you know. Let 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 let's let's duke it out in the comments. It's 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 a it's a fun time. Um, <laughs> Kyra says fake stolen good publicity. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Anyway, you guys have been awesome. I really do appreciate y'all. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Um, and until next time, guys, as always, bye. Oh, wait. Hold on.
Never mind. Hold on. Uh, where's the where's the end button? All right, awesome people of the new internet. I will see you all later. Until next time, guys. Bye.